Hello friends, welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. Uh, this is biology series of videos and today we are going to see in this video about human blood. Uh, blood has four components and in that plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, blood platelets are the four components which we are going to see. See friends, blood is said to be the life of human body. Without blood, uh, no human being can survive and this blood approximately uh, makes 6 to 7 percent of body weight in humans and uh, at in an average in a human being we can measure 5 to 6 liters of blood okay friends when compared to the females half of liter blood is less when compared to the males friends so this blood is uh, alkaline in nature not acidic friends it is alkaline in nature slightly alkaline uh, it is uh, in pH scale we can measure 7.4 value for blood when we go into the uh, subtopics like a plasma one of the component of blood it's almost 60% of blood constitutes plasma friends in in within plasma 90 percent of it is water seven percent protein and almost one percent of salt and nearly 0 0.1 percent of glucose friends so and the remaining proteins that which we can see in plasma are albumins globulins and fibrinogen Albulins, globulins, fibrinogen are very important and they have specific role to play in our human body. If we take fibrinogen, it is very very important in the process of clotting of blood. While clotting of blood, this fibrinogen combines with the thrombocytes and these forms clotting friends. Okay. If we come to globulins, globulin aid in body defense mechanism, friends. Albumins are another type of protein which maintains the pressure in plasma. In turn, it maintains pressure in the blood, friends. Blood, friends. Fibrinogen and proteins extracted out of plasma, this remaining plasma is called serum. From plasma, if this proteins, that is fibrinogen, and other proteins if it is extracted the remaining water content i have said that plasma is con contents of 90 percent of water and this is called serum friends the next important component which we can see in blood is called red blood cells friends this red blood cells is also called erythrocytes rbc uh, we call it in uh, the short form RBC friends. These are biconcave in shape friends. It is biconcave in shape. They don't have nucleus. Usually they do they doesn't have nucleus, but in camel and llama. Llama is similar to camel in South America friends. Okay, it it belongs to the camel family. Okay friends only in this camel and llama we can find uh, nucleus containing rbc cells okay friends they are small box bags of hemoglobin a reddish colored protein we know that hemoglobin is the protein which gives red color to the red blood cells friends the deficiency of hemoglobin causes anemia and this rbc is formed in bone marrow friends this bone marrow is not fully developed in the baby when it is inside the womb so at that time rbc is produced from the liver that we say that uh, this rbc is produced from liver when in the embryonic stage friends the lifespan of we all know that the lifespan of uh, rbc is 22 120 days which is very very important bit friends very very important uh, its destruction takes place in liver and spleen friends there therefore liver is called graveyard of 
RBC cells. The main what what does the main function of RBC? RBC is the one which carry oxygen from the lungs to all the cells of the body. Earlier in the circulatory system, we have come to know that uh, blood is uh, replaced in blood. Carbon dioxide is replaced by oxygen in the lungs friends this oxygenated blood is transferred from lungs to the all parts of the body so rbc is the responsible component in blood which carries oxygen how does it carry oxygen actually this hem hemoglobin hemoglobin there is one content called heme heme combines with globin protein which makes it capable to carry oxygen as well as carbon dioxide the iron compound found in hemoglobin is hema hematin rbc in males is 10 percent greater than females obviously friends you can see that the blood itself half liter greater in males when compared to the females as usually we can see that rbc is 10 percent greater than females at the time of sleeping rbc reduces by five percent friends why uh, at the time of sleeping uh, our body doesn't need uh, that much percentage of oxygen when sleeping when compared to the when it is at work friends when we are awake we take more oxygen and every muscle every tissue needs oxygen for its metabolism and its function friends while at the sleeping most of the body parts will be at rest so rbc content is reduced according to the uh, quantity of oxygen required friends when people when we uh, live at highest places when we go to uh, some himalayas or uh, shivaliks kind of places where uh, the height is of uh, 4000 meters of high then uh, the oxygen content in the air reduces drastically so at the time uh, our blood needs more and more oxygen to carry because the level of oxygen is at, at, uh, available in the atmosphere goes down so our body produce more and more rbc's so that it will carry enough oxygen okay friends the number of rbc is measured by an instrument called hemocytometer friends one drop of blood has 4.5 to 5.5 million rbc's friends. and the very next important component which we going to see is that uh, white blood corpuscles wbc's are also called as leukocytes friends wbc are non pigment colorless blood cells friends in RBC, we can see hemoglobin pigment which gives red color as, as we hear in white blood cells that there, there is no pigment. So, there is a white blood cells are colorless friends. WBC are in amoeba shape. What is the shape of amoeba? Amoeba ha doesn't have any shape. It, it changes from time to time. But it, it, it has some form friends. Okay. The, WBC is also formed in bone marrow and lymph nodes and sometimes in liver and spleen. Lifespan of WBC is from 2 to 4 days whereas for uh, RBCs it is 20 to 120 days. Nucleus is present in WBC whereas it is absent in RBC except in except in friends camel and llama. The main function is to protect the body from the diseases okay friends the ratio of rbc is to wbc count is 600 is to 1 friends wbc has granulocytes and agranulocytes in granulocytes is further divided into neutrophils eosinophils and basophils in granulocytes neutrophils eosinophils basophils has certain fixed significance which we can see is that most of the 60 to 70 percent of wbc's as neutrophils and help in engulfing the disease causing microorganism and bacteria eosinophils play important role in detoxification basophils is significant in allergic reactions 
granulocytes has lymphocytes and monocytes friends in lymphocytes it is useful in manufacturing of serum globulin whereas monocytes can be found in very less number of around 5 to 6 percent of wbc blood platelets are thrombocytes friends this is found only in the blood of human beings and some other mammals friends no nucleus like rbc and non pigment like wbc friends see as rbc rbc doesn't have nucleus in the same way wbc doesn't have any pigment friends so it, both combining characteristics has the blood platelets forms in bone marrow and dies in spleen as same as rbc its lifespan is from 8 to 9 days friends its main function is to help in clotting of blood usually this blood platelets where we use here is when someone is attacked by the dengue fever this count of blood platelets drastically decreases which is very very dangerous friends so e while when dengue fever is attacked this platelets reduce in number friends that's all from the human blood we will see some blood groups blood groups are mainly discovered by landsteiner friends mainly it is divided into a group b group a b group and o group friends we can also differentiate or classify bloods into rh factor plus rh factor minus friends what is rh factor we will see later first of all we will see what are the blood groups of the classification a b a b and o here i have given a table friends and if for a a a blood is called a group if its antigen is a friends here you can see a a blood group is called a when its antigen is a friends it is called b when its antigen is b a, a blood group called ab when its antigen is ab if it doesn't have any antigen then it is called o friends actually it is americans use like it's zero zero they call it as o and it has come to uh, known as blood group o friends so here we can see that if we have a antigen then that blood group contains b antibody okay friends if we have b as antigen we have a as antibody and a blood group called ab has antigen ab and it doesn't have any antibody in the same way if a blood group doesn't contain any antigen then it should contain ab antibody okay friends and this is called o group friends and i have clearly given if antigen is a then you can supply blood to a and o blood group friends a and o blood group if we have antigen b then you can give blood to b and o friends if we have ab as antigen you can give for give blood for any one friends a b a b and o friends if you doesn't have any antigen you 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 can donate only to o but you can receive from a b a b and o here i have clearly given in table blood group a can give to a and o and can receive from a and ab friends you can clearly see here and what is rh factor we will see see this friends what is rh factor see rh factor is first identified in 
Rhecus monkey or H E C U S monkey friends. After this monkey, it is named as R H factor friends. There are two types of R H factor. We have R H plus factor, R H minus factor friends. If R R H minus factor in the sense, the absence of R H factor is called R H negative factor. R H factor antigen present on surface of R B C. R H factor also called D antigen friends. A person with R H factor on surface R B C, surface of R B C is called R H positive. A person without R H factor on surface of his R B C is R H negative friends. R H factor plays a very important role in blood transfusion and baby birth. Usually, this R H factor is uh, identified. When when the blood is given from one person to the other person, or if someone uh, blood transfusion has to happen, friends. In emergency, if uh, see friends, usually uh, R H minus uh, R H negative person should take blood from only R H negative person, friends. R H positive person should take blood from only R H positive. person at emergency cases rh positive person can take blood only from can take blood from rh minus also but the vice versa is not allowed friends here you can see i have given in the clear diagram rh minus person can take blood from rh minus rh plus person can take Blood from R H positive person at the time of an emergency. R H minus blood can be given to R H positive person, but not the reverse way. But not the reverse way because you can see that the blood develops anti R H factor in the R B C friends that causes fatality friends. Okay. you can see here as in rh minus there is no rh factor so no problem when transferred from rh minus to rh plus but if rh plus rh plus blood is transferred to rh minus usually think friends this person this person who doesn't have rh at all if some blood is blood is injected into his body which has some alien element called rh factor automatically in his blood some anti rh factor content is produced and there will be conflict in his blood and it which leads to the fatality uh, that's it from the human blood you can see this these are the notes uh, which i am explaining it from okay friends i have given a uh, good diagrams and explanation in the uh, you can see here in the circulatory system notes here i have given a good explanation and i have covered each and every point in circulatory system and human blood is extension to the circulatory system and you can also find the other topics like respiratory system skeletal system excretory system endocrine system human diseases classification of plant a photosynthesis everything i will explain in the coming classes uh, please download this uh, biology notes which is prepared by me and which is extremely important for you uh, extremely it will be useful for you for your exam you can find it in the description box there is a link which where you can Uh, download this notes pdf friends thank you